All right, these are the Matthew C blocks, and I've tried to lay them out so you can see how all of this works, although I see I put a green one in the wrong spot there. Okay, so these red blocks are hundreds blocks, and you can lay out 10 of these blue blocks, and of course, 10 times 10 is 100. So when you lay them out like that, you'll get 100. You could also do it with let's say your five blocks or something else like that. Now then all of the blocks, these are ones, your twos blocks, your threes, fours, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then your blue is your 10. And you can see my children really used these a lot. Um, I find these blocks to be invaluable for teaching your children multiplication and addition, subtraction, because let's say you're doing a 10 here, and you want to say, okay, what is 10 minus 5? And so then your kids would can literally count. They know there's 10. They can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 10 minus 5, well, how many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that works really well. And in case somebody's colorblind, let me do this with a different color. So 10 minus four, and then you, you know, the kids can literally count it out. They could do, um, you know, four times two. There are two blocks times four each. And they can literally see that their four times two is eight. So these are really great. And then they do stack up. However, I do want to say they don't stack like Legos, like this will just tip right over. So that would be my only complaint about the blocks is I really did always wish they would stack more like Legos. And I believe I have two sets of these blocks here. So don't think you're getting this many in one set. But look at, look at the description. I'm honestly not sure if the colors have changed at all or not, but regardless, these blocks are outstanding and they are really worthwhile to have.